And now, suspense. Close one buck and coin or stamps and mail it to me, Willie Fergus, carry the address listed thereon. In return, I will yes, send yes. you three high class prints of yourself that you will treasure yes, forever. Yes, sir. Hold it. Hold it. That's it, folks. Now, all you gotta do is sign your name and address to this gift card, and I, Willie Fergus, will send you three high class prints like you've never had before. But
station. Lost and found, please. Hello, Lost and Found. This is Robert Quartermain speaking. Yes, that's correct. I just came in on the 358 from Washington, and I left my wristwatch in the washroom on the train. No, I can't remember the number. It was a coach. But the initials are on the back of the watch. Steel case, sweep second hand, Markham waterproof. Yes, that's right. If you will, please. Gramercy 3, 8841. I'd be very much obliged for everything you can do. Thank you very much. Robert! Hello, darling. Why, I didn't expect you so soon. I called an earlier train. Oh, uh how -huh. was the convention? Just like a convention. <laughs> How's the big city? There hasn't been a crime wave or anything while I've been away, has there? That is about the only thing there hasn't been. Everyone has been trying to get you on the telephone. Oh? Uh -huh. I don't know how the city ever got along before they made you district attorney. Oh. Well, I made a list. As a matter of fact, I think I'm much more efficient than your secretary ever was. Now, let's see. Oh, yes. Someone from the clerk's office called. The McIntyre case has been put forward on the calendar, and the preliminary hearing is on Wednesday. Oh, no, not Wednesday. Well, that's what the man said. Judge Russell is trying this case, and it seems he wants to get away by Memorial Day so that he can get back to his gardening. Well, I'd like to do a little gardening myself. What on earth have you got all over your sleeve? Oh, I don't know. It's nothing at all. Well, Robert, is anything the matter? No, of course not. Here, let me have your coat. It's only that uh, I'm a little uh, nervous. Oh. It's a difficult case. I wanted to have more time to prepare it. Oh, this goes all over this. It'll have to go to the dry cleaner. Well, can't you get a postponement? Not if Judge Russell's hearing the call of his gladiolas, I can. <laughs> well, just have to do the best we can, I suppose. I'm going in and take a shower. Maybe a nap. I'll call you. a doozer, Mr. Quartermain. This is really a doozer. I don't even know how long the stiff's been here. All I know for sure is that he's real stiff. Yeah, drag him out if you want. I'm through. Morning, Quartermain. Any findings, Doctor? Sure. After a careful examination, he's good and dead this morning. Did you fix the time, Doc? Yeah, he died in May. Sometime come on, in May. come on, Doc. He's stiff. Advanced rigor. Could have been any time since Friday. I can't put it any closer. I'll see you around. See what I mean, Mr. Quartermain? Whoever pulled this one had a head on him. He knew this office was closed on Sunday, and he seems to have gone over the place on his hands and knees. He wiped the fingerprints off everything. This place is clean. It's too clean. You're sure you haven't missed anything? Well, you must have known this guy. Who said so? Well, I mean, he was the medical examiner. Well, but everybody knew him. That was before I came on the force. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, Freeman Marshall's the name, isn't it? That's right. Yes, he was county medical examiner about 15 years ago. I didn't know him, really. Well, he was booted out for falsifying medical records, trying to spring some big shot gangsters. Oh? I seem to remember something of the sort. Yeah, and then he beat it for the coach. He didn't come back to New York until about two months ago. Two months, really? Mm hmm I suppose he figured the case was all forgotten. We could start up a practice again. You're sure you've forgotten nothing? Look, we combed this room. There isn't a thread in it. Well, we'll have to do the best we can, Lieutenant. Keep me informed, will you? All right. But I hope your reputation doesn't depend on my finding a customer to pin this one on. I hope not, Lieutenant. I'll be in the office. Burns, Thompson. I want everything out of that desk. I want everything out of those filing cabinets. We might as well look like we're getting somewhere. You just got yourself a candid portrait just suitable for enlarging. Now, all you got to do is fill your name and address out on this here little card and mail it to me, Willie Fergus, charity address listed thereon. In return, I will send you three high-glossy prints. 
Come on, it's only a dollar, mister. I'll tell you what, mister. When Willie Fergus takes your picture, you've got yourself a picture that'll make you famous. What do you want? Why, Robert. I'm sorry, darling. You startled me. Well, you startled me. I expected that you'd be at the office. Is anything wrong? Margaret, that suit I was wearing Saturday. Oh, I sent it to the cleaners yesterday morning. But there were things in the pockets. Well, I took them out. Everything? Well, yes, of course. Why? Something missing? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, there is. What? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little card. What sort of card? Oh, uh, a little white card about uh, so big. Uh, you haven't seen it anywhere, have you? Hardly no, darling. You haven't given me a very precise description. No, I don't suppose I have. Well, it's one of those little cards from a photographer, a sidewalk photographer. Oh! Have you seen it? No. Oh. What did you want it for? Oh, it's not important. It probably got thrown out anyway. Probably. Robert, what about the Marshall case? Well, what about it? Well, uh, I mean, have you got any leads? No. The trail seems pretty cold. I don't know how far we'll get. Marshall had a lot of rather unsavory acquaintances. You know, this has all the earmarks of a gang killing. And you know how hard it is to get anywhere with those. I just hope all this doesn't affect you in any way. Well, how should it affect me? Well, if they ever started digging into the past... There's I... nothing in the past. Well, only that case, Robert. Margaret, that... for heaven's sake, I was defending my client. How was I to know that he'd been bribed to Marshall to give false oh, medical testimony? Darling, I know that it wasn't your fault, but you know what could happen if the newspapers ever got hold of that particular story. I've they... got nothing to fear. I took the case in good faith. It was my first case, remember that. Marshall swore to me that the bullet he removed from the body did not come from my client's gun. Then when we discovered All that he'd been All the same, surprised, I am going to feel much better about it if you find Marshall's murderer. Then nobody can say anything. Nobody's going to say anything. <laughs> Rest assured of that, darling. Oh, oh answer that for me, will you, darling? I've got to get back to the office, and I don't want to get involved unless it's important. Hello? Well, this is Mrs. Quartermain speaking. Might I take a message? Who? Pennsylvania Railroad? Yes. Yes. Well, thank you very much. I'll tell him. What's that all about? Pennsylvania Railroad, about your watch. Did you lose your watch? Oh, yes. I left it on the oh, train coming God, back from Washington. Really? I forgot to tell you. They... I don't suppose they could find it. No, they couldn't find it. Well, I'll run along to the office. Be back for dinner. Bye, darling. Take care of yourself. Anything turn up? No, this thing's colder than ever. I checked all his patients. There weren't very many of them. He's only been practicing about six weeks. Well, let's fold it up, shall we? File a report. Close it up. We'll send the boys around tomorrow to finish off. Hurry up. I'll buy you a drink. I'll take the drink. Terrible weather, isn't it? Yeah, it's worse than you think. Why worse than I think? I've got one small clue that might lead me someplace, and that washes out when it starts to rain. I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, I'm making a routine check up and down the block. The guy across the street tells me the curbstone camera has been working this block for the last week. Oh, curbstone camera? Yeah, a sidewalk photographer. Now, if I can find that bird, he can tell me something. But he doesn't work when it rains. You haven't tried to locate him. There's 7,000 of those guys in the city. We're checking them, but it takes time. Yes, but you're looking for him. Well, we got a list from the Bureau of Licenses, and we're checking each one. I see. Well, come along, Lieutenant. We'll get that drink we were talking about. Look 
looking for someone, friend? Yes, a photographer named uh, Willie Fergus, I believe. Yeah, Willie Fergus, upstairs. He's getting mighty popular all of a sudden. Hey, Willie, the guy's here. How do you mean, mighty popular? Well, only this afternoon, some other guy was asking for him, a flatfoot. Policeman? Yeah, well, he was out, but the flatfoot said he'd be back later. Somebody looking for me? Willie Fergus? That's me, who are you? I'd like to speak with you for a moment. Well, what, are you selling something? Nothing to be alarmed about. It concerns photographs. Oh, are you a customer? You might say so. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Up the stairs and around to your right. If I knew you was coming, I'd have baked the cake. I had a whole Ah, there you are. Something concerning having your portrait you're taking? I don't do much studio work, you understand, but in an emergency, I might be willing to help you out. I came by to pick up some photographs. Pick some up? Yes. Well, look, mister, you could have just sent in the card. I prefer to do business this way. Why, if it's a bad photograph, why should I pay a dollar for a bad photograph? Look, mister, in the first place, when Willie Fergus takes your picture, it ain't a bad picture. And in the second place, even if it was a bad picture, where else in town can you get a bad picture as good as this for such a bargain? <laughs> Give me the card, I'll take the picture. I'm afraid I've lost the card. Lost it? You lost it? Look, mister, how do you expect me to find your picture without the card? I take a lot of pictures. You see this file? It's all full of pictures. Well, there must be some way. Oh, sure, sure. There's a way. All I got to do is go through all these till I find a picture that looks like you. Oh, all right, all right. Rest yourself. Are you following this uh, Marshall case? What? This uh, Marshall murder, the doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah. That society doctor's got himself knocked off. <laughs> Look, you'll have to stay with me for a while, bud. I got these files all followed up. Oh, that's all right. Do you ever take any photographs in that neighborhood, Mr. Fergus? What? Said, uh, have you taken any photographs in there recently? Last Saturday afternoon, for instance. Saturday? Saturday. Hey, come to think of it, I did. How do you like that? I forgot all about it. And right on the block where the guy was murdered, too. Oh, wait till the fellas hear about this. I'll be like a big celebrity. <laughs> do you happen to remember what time you were there? Oh, I don't know. Three, three thirty or so. Not much business, though. Nah. Just one or two guys, and one of them was... What about him? What? You were going to say something about one of them. Who was I? I forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them was... Ah! Here it is. I knew it was around here someplace. Yeah. You're pretty good, you don't huh? Mind oh, I take a pretty good picture, you gotta admit. Hey, I remember you now. You're the guy who was in such a hurry you couldn't wait for the card, right? <laughs> you were taking your dirty clothes for the laundry. <laughs> You're very observant. Observant? Certainly I'm observant. My racket, you gotta be. <laughs> I'll even tell you when it was. Last Saturday, right? You're right. Wait, wait, I'll tell you the time. Between a quarter of four and four, somewhere around that uptown someplace, 68, 60... 68 and... Oh. So that's why he was in such a hurry to get out of there, huh? And coming up here and asking all those questions. Right. Oh. <laughs> Margaret. Margaret handwriting. Hey, she sent it in. Hey, Willie. Hey, Willie. You got a can off of Willie? Mr. Quarterman, I'm sorry to bother you at this hour of the morning. This is important. What is it, Mercer? It's the Marshall case again. It's closed. No, it's not closed. A sidewalk photographer named Willie Fergus got bumped off last night, and the guy who bumped him was spotted by another character living in the same building. What's the connection, Mercer? It's too much coincidence. That's the connection. Simply because the sidewalk Listen, photographer... Listen, I'm very interested in sidewalk photographers these days. I thought you'd want to know. Oh, yes, of course. But even so, it seems a pretty slim connection. Good morning. 
morning, Lieutenant. What brings you here so early? <laughs> the Lieutenant thinks he has a new lead on the Marshall case. Oh? Yeah, a sidewalk photographer was murdered last night. We think it may have been the one that was working outside Freeman Marshall's office. Oh, really? Will you stay to breakfast, Lieutenant? Sorry, I don't have time. Sorry. Anything there for me, darling? Oh, bills and circulars, mostly. Lieutenant, uh, was this photographer important? Well, it's hard to say. You see, there aren't very many people in that neighborhood on Saturday afternoon. And if this was the cameraman, he might uh, might have gotten a picture of the murderer. Oh, that seems like a pretty slim possibility, doesn't it? That's just what I was saying. Well, it may be slim. But if the murderer thought Willie Fergus got a picture of him... Speaking of pictures, Robert... What? A little surprise. I bet you forgot all about what it. What have you got there? Oh, never mind. Go on, Lieutenant. What else? Well, it's not much else. Probably not, in, not anything to it. How? But I think it's shoot. important enough to keep the case <laughs> open. <laughs> yes, Robert, you look... Do Robert, when did you go to see? Now, let me have well, that. Robert! I said, give it! Excuse me. Thank you. Very clumsy of me. When did you have this taken, Mr. Quarterman? I, quite some time ago. I don't remember the date exactly. You don't remember? Why do you ask? Now, see here, Lieutenant. Aren't you usurping your authority? That's personal mail. It's addressed to you. Typical curbstone camera stuff. You sent for this, Mr. Quartermain? Yes, I did, but I don't see Very that interesting. Sometimes when you dig into a crime, you don't always come up with a criminal right away, but you find out some very interesting things. I'm afraid I don't understand. I'm afraid you do understand. Why were you so anxious to close the case? Now, Robert, see here. what does he mean? I'm sure I don't know, like darling. I say, it's very interesting what you find when you dig into a murder. For instance, 15 years ago, Freeman Marshall falsified the medical evidence in a murder case. The defendant in that case was represented by Robert Quarterman. That's public knowledge. Maybe you know more about it than you're saying. Maybe you were in it with him. That's ridiculous. Maybe he came back here two months ago to blackmail you. Robert, this can't be true. Of course it isn't, darling. Maybe you went to his office Saturday afternoon to pay him off and said you got sore and bumped him off. At the time Marshall was murdered, I was on a train coming here from Washington. Can you prove that? Yes, as a matter of fact, I can. I left my watch on the train. The Pennsylvania Robert, Railroad has a record watch of that. Is in the drawer. Marshall! Why can't you leave things alone? See that rubber glove that was burning in the fireplace. Rubber gloves. Very handy when you don't want to leave any fingerprints around. Well, Mr. Quartermain, maybe I am ready to wrap this case up. Margaret. <laughs> Margaret, he was blackmailing me. Nasty business, blackmail. It's almost as bad as murder. You better get yourself dressed. Yes, I suppose I had. I don't suppose that suit has come back from the cleaner yet, has it? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh. 